Good morning, good morning to my Washington Street family. Happy, happy, happy Sunday. This is Mr. Terrence coming at you this week for our worship moments with Terrence. I pray that you guys had a great week last week and I hope that you guys have an even greater week this coming week. As you guys know, it is Black History Month. So each week we are talking about something or somebody related to black history. Two weeks ago, we talked about Garrett Morgan and the traffic light. Last week, we talked about the Brown versus Board of Education Supreme Court case. And now this week, we are going to be talking about the Little Rock Nine. If you do not know what the Little Rock Nine is, it's it's OK. It's OK. I'm about to explain it right now. So. As you guys know, last week we talked about the Brown versus Board of Education Supreme Court case decision, which ended in 1954. And it basically stated that separate was not equal in terms of education. So there were nine students who wanted to test out what the Supreme Court case in 1954 decided. So there were nine African-American students who decided to enroll in what is now Central High School. OK, so those nine students were Melba Beals, Minnie Jean Brown, Elizabeth Eckford, Ernest Green, Gloria Karlmark, Carlotta Lanier, Thelma Mothershed, Terrence Roberts, and Jefferson Thomas. These nine students decided to enroll in what used to be an all-white school at the genesis of integration. So when they decided to enroll, the governor called the National Guard to preserve the peace, quote unquote, or also known as keep the African-American students from entering the high school. Once the president of the United States found this out, the president, Dwight Eisenhower, he decided to send the National Guard back to the school in order to escort the students in. And from then, the rest is history. So that is your Black History Fact of the Week. I hope that you guys have a great week. Love y'all.